Hey, hello everybody. My name is Mr. Moontrap Pies. Today we'll be playing. Not playing. Excuse me. We're going to be recording on how to model in Blender. This is probably a unique thing on my channel. But I figured because I am making games, I figured I should help you guys make some games too. This could be also not just for games, but for obviously for making movies, animations, and stuff like that. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to go over the controls. Um. Middle mouse button or the middle the scrolling thing I don't know how you call them. Um, that's to move your mouse around and the camera around. Um, you scroll up or down to zoom in. Um, you press you can press one to go into front aspect, or you can press five to go into ortho mode. If I pronounce that right, um, if you don't have a mouse to scroll up or down with, you can press um the plus sign or the minus sign on your keyboard. Um, you can press shift with, with the middle mouse button and it, like, what's this? I, I can't describe them, so, um, what else, what else is there need to be said? I'm um, pressing E, uh, you know what, I'll go with the keys while we're at it, but, um, that, yeah, oh yeah, one more thing, uh, pressing tab changes it from edit mode to object mode and vice versa. So, let us get started. We're going to teach you some of the basic stuff on how to model. So first you want to press X and then press delete. This deletes the object and then you want to press create. It's right here. And then click plane. What this is is just a little object this is plane. I guess. Um press G and it could drag it around. Um press S and it scales it. Press R and it rotates it. And that's kind of some of the other controls you can use. So let's press tab to get to the object mode. Now press control and right click all the objects and little dots until you only have one left. It should be any corner. Also pressing A um, selects all of the dots or objects in your game. Now press X and do you notice how it has a lot more options instead of just saying delete? Um, basically vertex are dots, edges, I'm not too sure what that is, and faces are this thing. Basically this um, the inside of your object. So let's delete the vertex. Now you see that one little tiny dot right there, that's your one object. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on Chrome, so or your internet browser, let's go on Chrome first. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna model our first object. Let's find something on the internet that we can use to model with our object. Um let's look up cool swords, I guess. Um it could be anything, literally. Uh, let us see. Hmm. Okay, I guess this. You know what? Also, by the way, while you're looking for images, um, it has to be flat out, like, like on its, its side. It can't be something like, um, like this. Or like this, or like this. Apparently, or this it has to be something that's on its side, something that's that could be easy for you to model. So let us use um, this one, I guess. I'm not gonna actually put all that detail onto it, but um, next time I'm gonna teach you guys how to use something called UV mapping, which means you use the object and you map it, and it kind of just like puts the texture on it. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go back into Blender. And give me a minute. Okay, so now what you want to do is find that image, and then you want to drag it on into Blender. That's it. Now what you want to do next is press N on your keyboard, and this brings up some menu. Um, go to background images, and it should be there, but if not, let's just assume it's not. Click Add Image, click Open, go to your Go to wherever you saved it. I saved mine to my desktop. Um, uh, where is it? There we go. Then you want to click the image of the sword. Then press one and five. And for some reason, it's not showing. Sure. Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. Um, you have to make sure that this eye thingy is open. Now, what you want to do is find that dot, which will probably be this. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think. Yep, 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 it is. So what you want to do now? Oops. 
By the way, you cannot move the object while it is, um, while it is, while you have that background up. So what you want to do now is press 7 and then press 5 if you don't see the background image. That will show the image. So now press shift and middle mouse button to move your camera. This is not how you move it. It's just in 2D view. You want to move the object by pressing G and then moving it around and then press E. What this is is called, like, I think it was called extract or, or something like that. It basically allows you to create lines of the object or resize an object or just create, just basically model. So what we're going to do now is outline the whole sword by pressing that and pressing E, dragging it and then pressing E and right click and left clicking it or pressing enter to finish it. So you're just going to do that. This might take a little bit, but I think what kind of sword you picked, obviously I picked a really, really, really tough sword to make. You don't have to pick this, but I mean, just for if you really want the sword, I'll put it a link in the description for you guys to download it. To make it look even better, make sure you click for every single time it rotates. Like you notice how it's kind of like rotating right here. So you don't want to just like put a straight line or make it look kind of awkward looking. So every single time you see like a rotation, you might want to click it so that you can get all the curves out. Um, what we're going to be teaching you next is like after you finish, you want to like, you want to press a key that I'll tell you how to. That will create the, basically the plate or the face of the sword. What a face is, is um, uh, how can I describe it? Basically, uh, yeah, I already described that, I don't need to tell you, but if you weren't paying attention, it's basically just like the face of the sword, basically what makes the sword visible. Because if it wasn't for this, all you would have is just like outlines, and you won't be able to see that in your game, or in your animation, or whatever. So yeah, every single object needs a face at one point. Okay, we're almost done with this part. I'm gonna pause the video, and then... Because now you get to the point, now you know what to do. But after I get this part, I want to pause the video and I'll finish this one for you guys, so it'll be okay. I forgot to tell you one important thing before I end this video. Besides, I not end this video, but get to the point. Um, besides, I'm already finished, so... Um, what you want to do is, if you ever mess up or you want to redo something, you press Control z and it takes back stuff. And you press Control y and Control shift z and that's brings back. Okay, so now that you finished, if you finished your sword, um, if not, pause the video, and then when you're done, finish the sword and come back. So after you're done with the sword, you want to double tap A, and then press F. Now look at that. Now your sword has an actual face on it. But it is just a 2D sword. So what you want to do now is, um, is you want to press E on it, and then bring it up. And there you go. You now have your very first sword. And just by judging on how it looks, it looks rather good. Uh, I'll give it that. So, yeah, that's how you model your first. That's how you model. Um, what we're going to be going over next is some touch finishing touches. I like how to UV mapping. And what that is, is like you get your image, you paste it on your sword, and it adds the texture to it. But, so yeah, th thank you guys for watching, this is, uh, you can, you're, you're basically done, you don't need to watch any of these, any more of these tutorials, because, you know, that's basically all you have to do in a model, but, if you want to learn how to texture your, the weapon, or whatever you're modeling, you can, I'll be teaching that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, I like if you like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.